Okay then gang, so I think we know enough about Flutter now, we've had enough practice with a couple of mini apps to attack the big project of this course and that is the World Time app that I showed you at the very beginning of this playlist. So close down any other project you've got going in Android Studio at the moment and then click on Start New Flutter Project, Flutter Application, click Next and let's call this World underscore Time and then we'll click Next and then give this a company domain, then click on finish and it's going to create that boilerplate project for us. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to go into the world time folder and I'm going to delete this test folder. In the future, I might do a whole series on testing inside Flutter, widget testing, unit testing, that kind of thing. But for now, it's kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial and all of our apps are quite small. So we don't need testing too much at the moment. So I'm going to delete that. So it's not in the way. And then inside main.dart, I'm going to delete all of the bump that we get here, all of the boilerplate code, except for this bit at the top. And then right here, we'll use a material app instead. And inside this material app, ultimately we need a home property, which is going to be some kind of widget that's going to show on the home screen. Now, before we fill this in, what I'd like to do is create a couple of different boilerplate widgets that are going to represent different screens. In actual fact, three, because we're going to have three screens on this application. In the past, we've only ever used one, which is on the home screen. But in this one, we're going to have a home screen, which is the place that actually shows the time. Uh, we're also going to have a loading screen while we get the data initially. And we're also going to have a screen where a user can update the location and choose a different place to find out the time. So we need those three different pages or screens. And what I'm going to do is go into the lib folder and I'm going to create a new folder over here. Now you might not see the new directory or new folder option, but you can go to new package as well. That's basically just like a folder. And we're going to call this pages and press OK. So inside this folder, we now need to make our Dart files for the different pages. And the reason I'm doing this is just so we don't have everything sitting directly inside Lib. We're just starting to organize things a little better now because the app's getting a little larger. So let me right click over here, create some new files. I'm going to go to new Dart file. And first of all, we need the home Dart file. And then if we expand this, we can see that home file. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new and new Dart file again. This time I'm going to call it choose underscore location. So this will be the widget in here that we have for the choose location screen. And then finally, we need one more. So new again, and then Dart file. And this is going to be called loading dot Dart. And that will be the initial loading screen. When we first fire up the app, it's going to show like a little spinner or something while the data first loads. And then when it does load, it redirects to the home screen. So what we need to do is just build up a few of these different widgets, just the bare bones of them. So what I'm going to do is copy this thing over here because we need the material Dart library and I'm going to paste it in each of these first of all. Now I'm going to create a widget for the home screen, a widget for the choose location screen and a widget for the loading screen. So what I'll do for the home screen first of all is create a stateful widget because ultimately in the home screen, we are going to be using state. So I'm going to say ST and then FUL, and I'm going to call this home. So that creates us the stateful widget, and it links a state object with that widget right here. So inside the state object, we had the build function where we return the widget tree. Now, at the minute, this is just a container, but ultimately, we're going to return a scaffold here. And inside the scaffold, I'm going to do a body property. And for now, what I'll do is just a text property as well that says home screen. OK, so if I now go to main.dart and then say, OK, I want this now to be the home widget that we just created over here, then it's not going to work because it doesn't know what home is. We need to import this file over here into this file so we can use it. Now, to do that, we could use a relative path. So we could go into the pages folder and then get this home file right here. And I'll show you that. I could say import and then it would be pages and then forward slash home. Oops, not in capitals. Home dot dart. And this would work. You can see we no longer get the error now. And if I was to save this, I'm going to choose a device 
and then I'm going to preview this once the device loads. So let's move this way over here and then let's preview this project so far. Okay, and you can see that this all works. We can see this home widget right here. However, what I'm gonna do is show you a different way to import things like this, and that is following a similar convention to this, where we actually import some kind of package. So what I'm gonna do is replace this import over here with something else, and that is gonna be a package, and then I'm gonna do a colon, and then it's the world time folder over here. We can see that, that's what we're going into. Then forward slash, pages then forward slash home dot dart so now we're using this package import we don't actually have to specify the lib folder over here it knows to go into that then we're saying inside the pages folder then home dot dart so now if i save this it's going to work exactly the same way and now what i'd like to do is just move this a bit down because currently this bar at the top that shows the time and the battery and things like that that is hiding where it says home screen so it's not really safe to put text up here right so what we could do is use a widget called safe area to move this down a bit now in the past we've not used this because we've always had an app bar at the top and that app bar kind of pushes the content down so we've not needed to use this safe area widget but now we're not using an app bar on the home page what i'd like to do is use that safe area widget so what I'll do is come to this text widget and I'm going to go to the action drop down and then wrap with new widgets and this is going to be a safe area widget like so. Okay, so now if we save this, we can see that it brings it down into the safe area and that's what this widget does. It moves the child of that widget down into a safe area on the screen where we can't actually see it, not behind this little bar at the top. Okay, so now we have this basic home screen. Let's move our attention to the others. So in here, we need to create a widget for choose location. And again, this is gonna be a stateful widget in here because we're gonna use data in the future to show these different locations. So let's use the stateful snippet and we'll call this choose location like so. Okay, so inside here, we're just returning a container at the minute, but instead, let's return a scaffold as well and then inside that we need a body and then i'm just going to make this a text widget for now we don't need the safe area widget in this screen because we're ultimately going to be using an app bar at the top so it's going to bring the content down automatically but for now let's just add this text to say what screen this actually is so we'll say choose location screen and then we'll go to the next one, which is the loading widget. And this is going to be a stateful widget as well, because we will be using changing state and data inside this widget in the future as well. So let's create one last one, stateful widget, and we'll call this loading. And then inside over here, we're just returning a container at the minute. Instead, let's return the scaffold again. And inside the scaffold, we'll do a body property. And again, this is just going to be a text widget for now to say loading screen. Okay, so now we have all of our different pages set up. We can just quickly test them by going to main.dart and adding those widgets here and importing them here if we want to. I'm not going to do that because it means we have to start messing around with the imports. I think just trust me for now that we've created these widgets. You can see there's nothing complex about them and they're ready and set up so that we can now navigate to them in the future when we need to. So now we've got these basic different widgets set up. In the next video, what I'm gonna show you is the basics of routing or routing in Flutter apps. And to do that, we're also gonna to have to understand what maps are in Dart. So we'll tackle that in the next video.